Welcome to the channel. As we get into fall and winter and indoor training, I thought of something the other day when I was riding my bike back here. This is my indoor pain cave. And um, something that I fixed on my Wahoo Kicker Snap back in March. And I wanted to show you guys what was going on um, and how I did what I did to fix it. It literally costs nothing to fix, just a piece of white tape. That is all it is. So on the Kicker Snap, it's a wheel-on trainer, and it utilizes electromagnets to provide the resistance that you do when you're, uh, when you're riding your bike on Zwift or Ruby or anything of any of the things that you use. It also needs to count the number of rotations that your wheel is making to calculate speed and power and all the things that you're doing on your bike. And what was happening is I was on a ride on Zwift, and I was anywhere between 200 and 300 watts and every time I try to accelerate all of a sudden on my computer I could see that I was losing power and essentially the it was not disconnected but it just wasn't showing any power on my computer and I would have to slow way down almost to zero or near zero and then it would seem to find itself again and then I could start to ride but as soon as I did a surge or got above a certain power I would lose it all over again. So yes, I ride a lot. I've had over 20,000 miles on Zwift alone, plus a few other things that I've done, but let's just say the, the Kicker Snap has been very reliable and very good. It's one of the original or second gen ones. I've had it since 2017. That's when I started riding on Zwift. So I'm very happy with the unit, but I also don't want to go buy another one. It's not what I do. I like to try to fix things and figure out what's going on. right here that's the existing piece of tape this is a new piece of tape that I put on there and what I found was it was very dirty on the tape itself and what you have is you have some sensors right in this area here this is the electronics of it and there's a device that will read this as it goes by dark black white good contrast but mine was too dirty and what was happening is that it couldn't read it at a certain speed. Once it got spinning too fast, it wouldn't read it anymore. So what I had, what I, all I had to do was put a piece of tape. You see how I matched edges right here, so it wasn't too big, and um, and everything's worked. The other thing you do want to do, I haven't done this in a while, is clean it. I just get one of these and just kind of clean the inside. There's no moving parts in this part. But you do want to make sure that there's not any buildup or any crud on here from all the writing that you probably do to keep things in good shape. Now, what's important is to get this back on, there is a device, this is called a key. So you can see this little teeny piece of metal. This needs to slide. into the slot right here. So you need to line those up to get it back together. So sometimes this, this can take a couple minutes to get in there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in this slot. And it sits in there like that. I'm going to point this straight up, which it does align with the two adjusting bolts on the sleeve itself here. Now I'm also going to line this up straight up and down and then it is really tricky getting it on because they didn't give you a whole lot of room here so very carefully I get it in there in position and then once you get the key in I'm holding it here pushing with this it's locked in so you know it's not going anywhere don't forget your washer your bolt this is a, a nylon bolt on one end so this always goes on the outside and it does take because there's nothing to grab onto that's why I'm using this to uh, apply it because this will give a lot of force and that is it once it's done plug it back in and go ahead and ride 
That's how I fixed my kicker snap for virtually no money at all, just a piece of white tape. I did clean it, and then I put the white tape. I made sure that it was no bigger than the one that was kind of the OEM, and, um, and everything's been working perfect since then. No issues at all. I can accelerate as much as I want. I don't lose power like I did before all the time, and so I know it's fixed. This, this was the issue. It doesn't have the issue anymore. So I hope this has helped you out a little bit if you might have been having something similar or on your, whether it's a kick or snap or whether it's a Wahoo unit or another unit that might be in a similar situation. But I do, I appreciate you guys uh, on your comments, your feedback and everything that I've had on all my Canyon videos. And I would like to ask if you could subscribe. Um, it's really been cool to, to grow in this service and I don't know exactly where I'm going with this thing, but I, uh, I appreciate it and the more videos or subscribers I get, I, I'll, it'll make me want to make more videos too. So thank you very much. Have a great day.